So good morning everyone, you know my name is Catherine Duffy and I'm the General Manager of Northern Trust based here in Limerick. We are delighted, Northern Trust are absolutely delighted to be the main sponsors of the Student Life Summit in the Midwest and I think this is the first time that it's come to this region, so well done to all of you for joining us here today. You might not realise it, but each and every one of you has the world at your feet. You can do anything you want, anytime you want to. So I'm going to say, take the time today, you've been through, the, you've seen the stalls outside, ask loads of questions. Go to something that you'd never thought about and find out a bit about it. Maybe that's the thing for you, maybe you never knew that. Ask loads of questions. So now I'm going to ask my boss, who is Clive Bellows. He's the head of Global Fund Services in Europe, Middle East and Africa. He's going to tell us his story and he's a very interesting story to to, for us all to hear. So listen hard. Please warmly welcome Clive Bellows. Thank you. Um, it's wonderful to be here and it's absolutely fabulous to see so many young people energet energetically talking out in the um, auditorium, getting loads of free stuff from all the companies. And I think you know, the one thing I would say to you is, um, as Catherine said, right now you should be keeping your options open, be open-minded and think about the different things that you could potentially do when you go through further education. And, and, and it is so important that you study and you get good qualifications because that will then give you options for the future. Um, when I think back to when I was your age, I actually left school at 16 and went straight to work. And, and I so regret when I look around and see people like yourself that you're not going to have to do that. You're going to be able to go and study and think about where you want your career. And I look at the companies that are here today, whether it's Northern Trust and American Bank, whether it's Deloitte's, an audit company, whether it's the Defence Forces, whether it's Bank of Ireland, whether it's technology or pharmaceutical type companies, the options that you have in Ireland and in this part of Ireland to do a range of different jobs with very, very impressive, fantastic companies is, is just awesome. And I think, you know, the opportunities you have, if you take the most of them, um, I, I, it's up to you as, as individuals. Um, you're going to hear from a few of my colleagues today about what Northern Trust do. We're a, uh, an American bank based out of Chicago. Uh, we're 127 years old. And um, a few years ago, as we were growing in Limerick, when I joined, we were 110 people about seven, eight years ago in Limerick, and we're now over 1,000 people. So you know, we've grown because we love this part of the world. We love doing business in Ireland. And my boss, who, who sits in Chicago, said to me a few years ago, he said, the business in Ireland will have grown up when Ireland starts supplying talent to other Northern Trust offices around the world. Well, earlier this year, only a few weeks ago, I did a tour of our Asian offices. And in the Philippines, in Hong Kong, and in Singapore, I met staff who started their careers here in Limerick, now running important functions in those Asian offices. Last week I was in Chicago and I met numerous Irish people who've come from our offices in Dublin and Limerick and are now working in Chicago. If you apply yourselves and you think and you're open-minded, then you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to now pass over to a couple of my colleagues and they're going to explain a bit more about what we do here in Limerick. Thank you, Clive. Thank you very much. So would you like to see a bit of what Northern, Northern Trust is like on the inside? We have a small video clip that we're going to share with you now. Enjoy. Northern Trust was founded in 1889 with our HQ in Chicago. We are global leaders for asset servicing for institutions and private equity clients based around the world. Our assets under custody and administration total 9.7 trillion US dollars and our assets under management are 1.1 trillion US dollars. Limerick is a super place to do business and Northern Trust has been a great success story since we opened our doors in 2007. Excellent infrastructure, top class facilities, superb calibre of candidates and people with experience in our office are coming to our door. We are part of the community, doing a lot of work for local and national causes and charities. This year alone, our employees have raised over 20,000 euro. We also encourage our staff members to spend two of their work days out of the office to volunteer for local charities, such as the Simon Community, the Rape Crisis Centre and the Limerick Animal Welfare. In our Limerick offices, we now have over 40 different business functions. 
Many of these are financial, but there is a growing number of non-financial functions too, especially in our growing technology areas, as the adoption of things like artificial intelligence become more significant in our industry. When we came to Limerick from Dublin, we started with 19 staff. Now, 10 years on, our workforce has grown to over a thousand. We are now one of the largest private employers in the Midwest region. The economic benefits stretch well beyond the Limerick County border too. Members of our workforce now travel and connect from 12 different counties to our offices in Limerick. Limerick is a great place to live. It's a vibrant city. So what you have here is a city job and the country life. Our workforce is diverse and multicultural, given we are part of a large global corporation. With diversity comes opportunity and ideas. To help that, we have very active resource councils, which are run locally by our partners in areas of women in leadership, disabilities, LGBTA and Asian leadership. It's not just what about what happens inside the office. Throughout the year, we have many social events and activities, from summer barbecues to winter trips to see Santa. From soccer and running to cycling and even knitting, there is something for everyone. We love being part of Limerick and would encourage students to consider Northern Trust as a place they can come, develop, grow while helping our customers and themselves succeed. Offices. I'm now going to uh, introduce Regina and Mark and Regina and Mark have been with us for over two years and they're going to tell you their story about what they're doing in Northern Trust and the different areas that they've been in. Regina. Hi everyone, as Catherine said, I'm Regina and I'm currently on the Rotational Development Programme in Northern Trust. My sister, from when she was five to when she filled in her CAO form, wanted to be a school teacher. I, on the other hand, didn't have a clue. And even after finishing my economics degree here in UL, I still wasn't sure. So two and a half years ago, I applied to Northern Trust for a graduate position without any financial or accounting experience. So I didn't know what to expect. But that's one of the great things about Northern Trust. They offer so many opportunities for people regardless of their backgrounds, and they support you throughout your career. Within a month of starting my job, I had applied for the Certificate in Investment Funds course, which was funded by Northern Trust, and it gave me a greater understanding of the industry and what Northern Trust actually does. NT also have an internal university that offers online and classroom-based courses. These help with job-specific topics or developing practical skills in areas such as Excel and SharePoint. Earlier this year, I joined the Rotational Development Programme, and this programme is open to graduates and also people with two to three years work experience. As part of the programme for orientation, I travelled to Northern Trust headquarters in Chicago, where I met executive managers, including the CEO, Rick Waddell, and President Michael Grady. They shared their career journeys with us, and also any advice that they had to offer. As part of the programme, I will rotate between the fund accounting, transfer agency and custody departments, along with three more of my choosing. And the goal at the end of the programme is to use all this experience and knowledge and the network that I have built in a position in Northern Trust. I'll now pass you on to Mark Flynn, who'll tell you more about the programme and his career at Northern. Thanks, Regina. Um, as Regina mentioned, so my name is Mark Flynn and what I'm going to talk to you about today is I actually was part of the Rotational Development Programme but I was actually successfully completed at this stage. So basically I just want to give you a quick run through of the programme itself and what's involved with the actual programme is you actually get to work within the different areas within Northern for three or four months at a time. And I suppose the advantage of the Rotational Development Programme, apart from the obvious, again, to go to Chicago headquarters for two weeks, um, you get to actually get a sample and a taste of what each area of the business units do. Instead of coming in as a partner and being put in a job and you're not sure what's part of it, so you get to kind of get an understanding of all the different areas within Northern Trust. So from that then, when you get a sample, you can choose then at the end of it where you want to place. 
So then the different areas I want you to also keep in mind within Northern Trust we offer many different uh, functions and even though we are a financial institution we don't actually have all financial based departments. For example if administration roles are something to do around funds is the way you want to go then I would suggest fund accounting department but we also offer risk and compliance which is monitoring risk within the business unit and also tying in with regulations and rules across the compliance areas. So a life then, I suppose, if any of you are aware of the show The Office, it's not like that in Northern, we don't all act like that, but basically a day in the life, it is a nine to five job, and we get to offer certain things such as different events and incorporate different fun activities such as we're actually running a soccer tournament here this evening uh, in UL, if any of you want to come down and see the skills of Northern Trust soccer or lack of. So um, then I suppose the final point that I would make though about Northern Trust is that we do involve you in different committees which is great from a networking point of view, getting to know people as well as being involved with the LBGTA, uh, Disability Business Resource Councils. But the final point I want to leave with you today as students is do not feel that Northern Trust, because we are a financial institution, we take graduates with all sorts of qualifications from anything from psychology degrees to arts who want to be teachers. So hopefully by the end of today, if Alan asks you again when you turn to each other and know what you want to do, hopefully you'll have the answer. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and thank you very much.